Well, I wish we could, but we can't. Mm. What a beautiful night we had last night. Yes, we did. But the sun's up, so I think that means it's over. Let's move to Alaska where the nights are six months long. <laughs> Please. <laughs> there must be someplace closer. Maybe we could go to Keith's house for dinner. That would seem that long. <laughs> well, he's not just dull, he's deadly. He'd poison us. You sure come around I early. I'm man. sorry, guys. I think you ought to know. These posters are all over the campus right now. I just hope Jeffrey and Kelly have good enough sense to stay away from there. Oh, morning. Morning. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you know, maybe hiding out in the middle of a college campus is the best thing they could do. Hopefully the students there will pay very little attention to stupid notices issued by a district attorney. Oh. Out of sight of the police and us, unfortunately. That's why we have to make ourselves extremely visible and cover this whole campus, give them a chance to make contact with us. Cruz, look over there. I'm not sure it was them, okay? But they were standing right next to me. Looks like the couple, an awful lot like these. Which way would you say they went? They went out that hallway. And I think they seen me because they kept on moving right along. This building, anyway. How you doing, guys? Not bad, Cruz. Now, Tim has told us to keep an eye out for you, Inspector. Oh, why is that, Danny? Well, he said if you did, and uh, we played our cards right, you'd lead us straight to the suspects. <laughs> oh, he said that, did he? Was he wrong, Inspector? It's Cruz out there. Yeah, and cops as well. Now, stay put. Well, you can go back and tell Timmons he's too late, because we discovered the whole campus and the dreaded fugitives are not among us. Well, you know we can't let it go at that, Cruz. We got orders. I guess we better get started. Come okay. On. Catch you later. Well, we better keep looking, too, right? Let's go this way. They're leaving. Yeah, look, I'm sorry, but it was too risky. Well, why not if because, they're there? Because we're going to put them in worse jeopardy. We're going to leave the, the police right to them. I don't know. It's all right. Cruz, Eden, Mason, Tori. Hi. Uh, I understand congratulations are in order, so congratulations. Thank you. I'm uh, very happy for both of you. I think it's great. Thank you. It's nice seeing you both. So long. Well, you handled that well. Uh, I thought you'd, uh, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. What? I just got an idea. What? Meet me at the beach house in an hour. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> Uniforms. I know what they are. I mean, what for? Continuing education. <laughs> I feel really foolish. You look really foolish. Well, now that we've made ourselves foolish, what do we do? Go back to the science building. I believe that's where we started. Let's go. Hey, hold on a minute, you two. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, well, we heard about a disturbance in the uh, science building. Oh, uh, yeah, we were going to go check it out. Uh, would this have something to do with that uh, girl everyone's looking for, Miss uh, Capwell, Kelly Capwell? Uh, well, it might. You know, we're, we're going to find out, and then we'll let you know. Let's, let's hit it. Yeah, come on. Wait, hold it right there. Is there a problem? You know, I've, I've never seen any one of you two before. Let me, let me see your official ID. Get off asking for our ID. Let's see your ID. All I'm asking for is your simple ID card. Employee ID card. 
Come on, you're like the guard at the gate asking for our parking passes. Yeah, exactly. That's it. You know, that is the problem we have. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry on the security force keeps hassling us because you don't remember seeing us before. And I mean, don't you know who we are? Yeah. No, that's what I'm trying to figure out. We were brought on personally by the head of security to find this Kelly Capwell girl and her accomplice once and for all. Now, Frank Stevens hired us, and Frank Stevens is who we answer to. You know Mr. Stevens? Uh, no, man, I was his uh, superior at the Santa Barbara... Po Listen, why don't you call the man at home and check him out for yourself? Let me use this, please. Now, he's probably not going to appreciate being disturbed on his day off, but I'm sure that'll put your mind at ease. You got a, you got a pen I can use? No, listen, uh, look, I didn't know you guys were new, and, uh, it takes a long time for those ID cards to come in. Look, I'm not trying to cause any trouble here, so... Well, it's just that we... Copy. Get... Yeah. A couple matching the description of the two we want was just spotted in the science lab. Okay, I'm on my way. I think I know a short bit. Don't move, you two! Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, he sent the other guards out the back. Oh, how did you find us? What are you guys doing well, in these uniforms? Well, Never mind that. Right now, we got to get you two out of here and onto some place. There's another guy in the hallway. Let's out. No, no, you know, Kevin's going to be here after this. Deprivation, you're flipping. Guys, what are we going to do? You know, I've always wanted to. Eden, take off your clothes. Are they in there? Over Better here, stay back there, Mr. Timmons. Could be dangerous. around the building. They haven't had much time. They couldn't have gone far. Move! Yes, sir. Well, you guys think you're pretty clever, don't you? Want to play games? Let's play games. Let's play warm-up the cell for Kelly and her criminal friend. You're under arrest. <laughs> On what charge? Participating in a scientific experiment? You can't make that stick. What are you talking about? Uh, listen, buddy, excuse me. Yeah? Uh, you work here, don't you? Yeah, that's right. Why don't right. you check your volunteer list? Don't you got the name uh, Capwell on there and Castillo, too, I think? You're gonna run this bluff right down the wire, aren't you? We're not bluffing. We volunteered for this experiment, Keith. It's true. The names are right here. I'm not really quite sure what's going on here. You know who these people are? No. As far as I'm concerned, everything's in order. These people were accepted into the research program, and you're interrupting it. So unless you have some bona fide reason for being here, I, I'd hope you'd leave. You know, we're trying to conduct scientific experiments, and we're trying to do them under controlled environments. Well, they're supposed to stay in here an hour, is that right? Two hours is minimum. All right. Well, make sure the volunteers stay in here two hours. There'll be a guard outside to make sure. Who do these security types think they are? Oh, huh? Beats me. Well, look, can we get on with this? Uh, will you resume your places, please? Right? Of course. That was close. Yeah, well, at least Kelly got away. She's safe. For the time being. Congratulations to both of you. Why, do we float exceptionally well? <laughs> well, you know, we don't measure flotations, but... You both showed great deep brainwave activity, and that really helps us a lot. I always told you I was good in a tank. You know, if you have some time, I'd like you to write down a detailed description of your fantasies, visions, or whatever you experience in the tanks. And the sooner you do it, the more vivid the recollection will be, naturally. And just bring that by my office. Of course, everything you write will be held strictly confidential and recorded anonymously. Okay. Thank you both. And you're free to go. Was it so bad? Yeah, you know, my brain was like a ping pong ball in there. You can get a lot of crazy thinking done in a tank like that. Well, I personally didn't have a uh, constructive thought in my head, but 
I did have a lot of fantasies. I guess that's what I meant. What about your fantasies? What are you going to do about them? What can I do? I mean, are you going to write them down? Can I see them? I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to love them. And you're going to be right next to me. As soon as this is over and Kelly is safe, we're going to get married. And that's my wildest fantasy come true.